You're early. Take a seat. A little formal, don't you think? I got a date after this, so please, with all due respect, what the fuck do you know? See, that's the problem with you, government type. You can't enjoy your job. No, I'm no fed and trying to walk in your shoes, but if I was, I assure you, I'd be living it up. You guys got to have short lifespans. <laughs> you know I'm right. <laughs> oh, take it easy, Uncle Sam. I'm just fucking with you. If you want this to go through, I encourage you to tell me exactly what you know. Guy you're looking for? He's up north now. Where? Washington. Little town near the border. What town? Place called Morgan. Probably moved in for all the fucking beautiful mountains. Sons of bitches are everywhere. How long has he been up there? Listen to me, you hillbilly scumbag son of a bitch. I'm calling my superiors in D.C. in one minute, and if you don't give me exactly what I asked for, you can kiss this sweet deal of yours goodbye. I'll leave this shit-kicking podunk town, and you will never see me again. But before I do that, I'll drop a line into your old boss. I'll tell him you and I are drinking buddies now. Hell, I'll even tell him what bar we like to frequent. I'll make sure you spend the rest of your miserable life looking over your shoulder. Am I making myself clear? This guy, man, this guy's a fucking nightmare for everyone now. He was his best killer. Fuck, I couldn't track anyone down. You never know he's in the same room with you till he popped you in the back of the head. And one day, boom. He started offing everyone. He shot a bus real bad. Left town. Now, I got close sources say since he left, boss has sent at least three, four guys after him. Guys like contract killers. None of them come back. Here's your coffee, sir. Thank you, man. How do you know he's still in Washington? My inside man he said yesterday, boss heard from someone. They're, they're now following him. Most information boss has had in weeks. So naturally, my inside source, uh, he's pretty excited. So, how about my deal?
sir. Don't talk to him. Yes, ma'am. My name is Catherine. My son found you on our property. It looks like you were shot. I tried to clean it up as best as I could. Are you a doctor? You'll probably wish I was when the meds wear off. Preacher, actually. I know. Most men have the same reaction when I tell them. I guess it's odd, especially for a Catholic. I noticed your rosary, it's on your hat there, along with your Bible. What happened? I gotta go. No, you need a doctor. Oh, I'll be okay. I live in a cabin not too far from here. Here? Fellow's cabin? Elijah, go back to your room. I didn't know a fellow was renting that out. I'd, I'll have to ask him about that. So we're neighbors. Mind telling me how you got shot? Did you call the sheriff? I thought about it, but you would have bled out by the time they got here. Did you find anybody else? Was someone with you? You know, I think I'm being fair here. I take you in my house, and I clean your wound, I tell you my name, and you say nothing. Nick. Well, Nick, I think it's only right you tell me how you came to be shot. My son plays in these woods, and we've had hunters trespassing. It wasn't a hunter. If you can walk, I'll take you into town. There's a doctor. They're a day early. Things, sweetheart. You boys are pretty early. Thought the crew starts tomorrow. Prettiest preacher I ever seen. <laughs> Where's your boy? He's getting ready for dinner. Dinner? I'm starving. There's a diner about 20 minutes from here. You should ask for the fish and chips. seem scared. Something wrong? No, I'm fine. <clears throat> Got company? 
No, of course not. Yeah. Just couldn't sleep, right? Yeah, I just like sleeping by the fire, that's all. Someone get hurt? My son cut his knee on some rocks. Rocks? Uh-huh. Get your foot off my table. <laughs> Listen, I could stand here all day and talk to you good people. God knows I love the spotlight, but I think I'll just get right on with it. Today, with the help of the Fitzgerald Community Fund, we celebrate the groundbreaking of this fine outfit. This will be a beautiful establishment to help this city and keep us moving in the right direction, which is up. See? I can assure you we'll be done in two days. Now, can you assure me you'll have what we negotiated? Fitzgerald of Fitzgerald Investment Real Estate and the president of the Fitzgerald Community Fund. Ceremony was that bad? These people are blind. They live in their own world. Yeah, well, that was good for business, girl. I best kept in the dark. Speaking of business. I heard the preacher's been acting funny. Well, we should go bizarre.
I wasn't sure if this was the right cabin. Thought I'd check up on you. You know. Oh, it's, uh, it's better. And I, I also wanted to apologize for last night. I'm just protective of my son, obviously. And we've had a crazy week. We have some work being done on our land. I understand. You probably need to rest, so we'll be off. If you should ever need to go into town, I don't mind taking you. You know, until you're healed up. Yeah, well. So, Nick, where are you from? Uh, lots of places. Moved around a lot? My father was a colonel, and I've seen tons of army bases in my life. When I got married and I got pregnant, I was so happy to plant some roots. I didn't want them growing up like me. or divorced? <clears throat> so how long have you lived here? A few weeks. Weeks in that cabin? <laughs> that place is pretty... Shitty? Elijah, keep that kind of language out of your mouth. Oh, yeah. Oh, pardon me, but he's right. It's shitty. But I like it. It's quiet and it's, uh... Hidden? I sympathize. Sometimes I wish Elijah and I could just disappear and stay hidden from everyone. St. Francis has mass today, and that's why you're going? They have those beautiful bells that ring every day. I've always liked the Catholic tradition of daily mass, actually. One must be very devout to go every day or have a lot to atone for. Thanks for the ride. See you, kid. Heavenly Father, please give us strength. We know you have a plan for all of your children. And we know you comfort those who are waiting.
young man. You ever heard of knocking? Yes, thank you. Is your mother in? Tiene cojones, me gusta. Mr. Fitzgerald? Morning. We need to talk, Catherine. Well, Mrs. Nelson's husband just passed, so I really need to be here right now. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Nelson. Thank you, Ms. Bill. We have an appointment. You do? Yeah. Okay, give me a second, will you? Of course. to let her go. Half of my congregation left after I took over. But you know that, don't you? Oh. Well, I hope there's no hard feelings about that one. I mean, I have no problem with a female pastor. I mean, it's 2021, for Christ's sake. Some of my partners, some people in the community, are a bit more conservative than me. Got it. I thought maybe you came here to tell me that I'd see you at the Sunday service. No, no, no. As much as I do love to hear the word of the Lord, I'm a very busy man. Very busy. But I always have my Bible with me. So you don't have to worry about me. We have come here today talk about our little project and how it's moving along. This is a good thing. A great thing for the community, for you, for that little man out there. You may benefit, but I'm not so sure about my son or me. You know how much I trusted your husband's judgment, his friendship. I took his counsel. He was a godly man, a good man, and you should trust him. I did trust him, but that doesn't mean I trust you. I don't know what it is you're gonna do when that tunnel is dug. I don't care to know. I just want you to do it. Do it and leave us alone. That's exactly what we intended to do, Catherine. So just turn a little blind eye for a while and we'll be gone, okay? We're just moving cargo. Nothing to worry about. Look, my son and I have done everything you asked. We've kept our head down and we've let those low lives into our home for you. We won't get in your way. I'm so happy to hear that, Catherine. Happy, happy, happy. Because I would have hated to remind you of the debt your husband owes to Amelia and what you and your family owe her. You'll never have to remind me of that. Have a good day. Yeah, I appreciate the ride and uh, everything. Maybe we'll bring you dinner tomorrow night. I'd like that. Great. 
See you later, Nick. Fine tunnel we made. As a bonus, I think they'd throw in some of those guns or smuggling. Why? What are you hunting? What are you off 15s now? Keep your mouth shut about that, all right? We don't ever talk about the cargo. This Fitzgerald guy's paying us a shitload of money, so we don't want to go fuck it up, okay? Kid, where's your mom? When a man asks you a question, it's better you answer. Hey, pretty preacher. She's upstairs changing. Wish I could join her. game you playing? You see, when I was your age, it was just me and my mom, too. And I remember one day coming home crying. When the picky kids roughed me up again. She went inside. She came storming back out with a switchblade. And she said, if one of those bigger kids ever come at you again, you cut those motherfuckers. And I promise you, they'll never pick on you again. You see, kid, look at me. Look at me! You can choose to be fearful. You could choose to be fearless. Now you tell me what that game's gonna do for you right now, huh? What's it gonna do? Huh? What's going on here? <laughs> Saved by mommy. Where were you earlier today? I was at my church. Yeah. My boss lady doesn't want you in town while we're working. You stay here. Well, if I don't go to my people, they come to me. And that's not allowed right now, correct? You just keep everyone off your land until we're done, okay? Elijah, come help me with the firewood. Please leave my house. Prettiest preacher I ever seen.
be in the tunnel. Better lay off that shit. You look fucking messy. Fuck you. What's wrong, boy? I scare you? I do? Little old me. Shit, I ain't scary. I know scary men. I'm pretty nice once you get to know me. Always on that video game thing. Book, game, whatever. How much these things work? Let me see the damn thing. Now. Stop! Better tell your little boy here to be careful. You don't touch him, ever. You hear me? <laughs> Aren't you all high and mighty? You're drunk. Hell yeah, I'm drunk. I'm celebrating, woman. I'm getting paid pretty handsomely. I'm bleating the tunnel and all, and... Well, I thought you could join me. I know, since your old man is dead, you and need us some good old-fashioned adult company. You got something sweet for me? You go play in the woods, boy. I'm warning you to shut up. The fuck you gonna do about it, preacher? What it's like to be with a woman of God. I bet it's divine. You can't do this! I can do whatever the hell I want. Hey. Good. I'm going 
put in the play. Hey! Hey! Stop! Drop it! Drop it. Now. Get your ass up, Price. Someone want to tell me what happened here? He assaulted us. Assaulted? He hit you? Oh, you mean he tried... You stupid motherfucker, Price. You wouldn't want this getting to Mr. Fitzgerald. You know I wouldn't. If he so much as ever looks at me again, I'll tell him. And where'd you come from, White Knight? Huh? You the preacher's boyfriend? He's our neighbor. Yeah. Well, ain't that fucking neighborly, huh? Coming over here to help. Well, good on you. Price, get in the damn truck. You'll be seeing me again, big boy. I promise you that. Nick. Nick, don't. Please don't. Where are they moving? I don't know. I don't want to know. I gotta go. Nick! Please don't go. I'm scared. Kid, if I stay, you and your mom will be in more danger than you already are. At least for tonight. Just to make sure Price doesn't come back. I made him angry. Please. Red. Where the hell are you? I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Do you know what kind of shit you're getting into? Well, I wouldn't be good at my job if I didn't. 
When I grab this asset, we'll be able to bring that whole damn house down. Man, you're fucking crazy, Red. Yeah, I take that as a compliment. Did I find you? Oh, I think I did. I think you're being a bit presumptuous. People around here don't have vision. Nobody wants change. I say okay to a condominium development and my office gets hundreds of complaints because you know why? People want green surrounding them in spring and summer and they want white snowy mountains in winter, not concrete. That being said, I agree with you and your party. I say develop the town, but do it right. Yeah. Oh, Maxine. I've been called a lot of things in my life. Presumptuous has never been one of them. You see, we've been securing all this real estate for miles just for this reason. And me being the sole financier should have you jumping at your knickers to get involved with this. What do you think? No outside investment, no foreigners. Homegrown talent building up this city. Now that is a beautiful thing. That mayor is the American dream. Yeah. Can it join? Maravillas. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It's Mateo. Mateo, cab. Make sure it has legs. Oh, nothing sexier than a woman who runs a tight ship. Glad to see that your uh, business is doing good. Yeah. So it's my, my boy passed. God rest his soul. Amelia here has been running this business like a little empire. Hey, as usual, make it a double. Have to cut it short, Mayor. But as always, it's been an honor. Now, you make sure you push the impairments through right quick, okay? It's good for the town, and I'll make sure it's good for you. You take it easy, Mayor. Check when you're ready. Ahora, bud. So, how many times have I told you you can't fucking come here? I'm sorry, but this uh, this was an emergency. I am. Yeah. I'm assuming the tunnel's finished. Yeah, yeah, we're finishing it up. What's the emergency? It's the preacher woman. Of course. She had someone fuck up Price. Really? I don't know. I came out of the shed and Price was getting his ass beat by this guy. I almost took his face off. Fucked him up good. Quién es este tipo? I don't. What? Who is this guy? Tall and white hair. But he knew what he was doing. I guess Price was breaking balls with the kid and a preacher lady didn't like it, so she came down, she punches him, and then this fucking guy comes out of nowhere with a shovel and fucked him up. Oh, preacher ain't no scene. Okay, well, you shouldn't fuck with your kid. 
Now we have a mother scorned. That's going to be rough. Maybe we should go talk to this guy. Oh, Jack. No, 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 no. This first deal has to get through, no matter what. On time. Just can't. We'll revisit this. We'll go and see this white-haired fella. And we'll all get along. Great. Motherfucking kumbaya. You see that, bud? Can't have it. Can't have a melee going off the rails. It ends well for anyone. It's a UTL price to keep his creepy little redneck hands off of mother and son. What about this guy? I mean, if Price sees him, he's not going to stand down. He's going to go after him. Price ain't going to do nothing. This is done. You can take care of him. You can take them all out. But that tunnel, that tunnel gets finished. Is that your son? It was. How'd he die? Nearly I put a knife through his throat. I didn't know. What? I didn't know. Of course you fucking did. Sorry, we kept you. You're gonna judge me for this, but so be it. I used to hate the thought of it. Drinking to drown your sorrows always seemed so weak. No need to confess to me. It's another thing I've always liked about you Catholics. Confession. Hard thing to do, spilling your guts to a stranger. I can tell you have something eating at you. Something eats at me as well. Sinning. My husband spent his whole life avoiding it, preaching. He put his faith above it. And I was so proud to be his wife. But he soon fell into sin. All because of his wrath. <sighs> our, um, our daughter was taken from us by a young man. Car wreck. He'd been drinking. <laughs> Elizabeth just needed a ride home. But she... She was the only one to die. 
He lived, served his time, but Don couldn't get past it. He was consumed by it. Our church floundered. And then he made a horrible decision. He found out what Amelia and Fitzgerald really did for a living. Kept it from me. But he knew the kind of people they were. He went to them for a vengeance. They took that man and killed him. sold his soul to the devil. I have to let them use my land now. That's my confession. That's what he said. killed people. Most deserved it. Some I'm not so sure. Would you do it again? If I had good reason. You and your son need to get out of here. That's not an option. I have my church. For God's sake, my husband and daughter are buried here. Do you think these people are just going to up and leave? There are two options here. You're going to get arrested with them when the cops find the tunnel, or they're going to kill you and your son. So if you won't leave, you're going to have to deal with it. Deal with it? It seems like the only option. I am not going to kill anyone. I didn't say you. I am not going to have anyone kill on my behalf, ever. They need me and my son for whatever it is they're doing. And they'll be gone, and I can move on with my life. They were my sisters. She used to collect them. Travels. You're back. Yeah. You're, uh, you're heading into town this morning to meet your business partners, right? I'm going to my church, and then I'm going to see if Fitzgerald can just forget the whole ordeal. But I'm coming with you. And then what? I don't know. Tell him you hired me. <laughs> Hi. 
hired you for what? Odd jobs. Just to let them know that I'm going to be around for a while. So, this is not going as swimmingly as we had hoped, is it now, Catherine? Well, I came to tell you that we won't be a bother to you anymore. Not that we have been. To be fair, it's your men who aren't very... Very what? Uneducated, uncouth, zero tact. I know this. That's why I hired them, to get the job done. Much like uh, your friend. Nick, is it? Tell me something, Nick. What brings a fella such as yourself here to our little town? Ya es hora de seguir adelante. Excuse my daughter in law. She can be very passionate. I was just passing through. But now I think I'll stay a while. <clears throat> He's just renting a cabin on the property next to us. Catherine hired me to fix the place up a bit. Did she now? I'm mighty good with my hands. Well, I bet you fucking are, son. And no doubt, you now know about our little enterprise. You've got one month until we shut the tunnel down. Uh, no, wait. After that, you'll get off her land. Okie dokie. Elizabeth. Thank you. One for the road. No. Fuck off. He's going to be trouble. Not for much longer. You, you what? I'm fucking angry. How dare you speak for me? Catherine, Catherine, calm down. No, get your own right back. And you know what? Don't step foot on my property again. Catherine. No. Catherine. I got eyes on him right now. You want us to do it now? Not in town. Understood. A little longer, buddy. I'm gonna smash his nose with the shovel. I brought it. It's the dumbest shit I ever heard.
forward. The fuck? Who's that? Hmm. Looks like it's you after all. Kind of plain sight. Clever, but not original. You probably think I'm one of those guys hired to come out here and kill you. Shit! I'm gonna have you take a little trip with me. Where to? One-way ticket to D.C. Oh, and I forgot to introduce myself, Agent Red. Pleasure. You know, I'm actually surprised how easy it was to find you. Once we got the drop on your location, all it took was one inbred informant to give you up. Okay. We gotta grab them both and take them out of town. Don't you fuck this up, Price. I know what to goddamn do. So why don't you go on a slide on these cuffs, try not to make a scene, and, uh, make this easy for yourself. Whoa. What the fuck are you? Die. Jesus. I'm the big bad wolf, baby. Now both of you, get in the fucking truck. I'm afraid that's a negative. Why don't you go on and get out of here, pal? I got a rental anyway. Don't make me ask twice. I will light you up, motherfucker. It'll be okay. No, I told you, I don't want you here. Come back. Look, they're gonna kill you and your son. You've gotta trust me on this. I know that you're trying to help, and I appreciate it. Here. Shit. I gotta call the boss lady. You keep your damn cool, Price. Shut the fuck up, Dad. Hey, preacher, bitch. You come on out here. Did that thing work? I don't know. I got something for you. You and your fucking kid. I'm gonna go talk to them. Shut the fuck up, Price. 
I'm gonna put them both in the fucking ground. Done. Date prisa. Venga, go. Prepárense. That's it. It's all over. shells for this? Catherine, do you have any more shells? There they are. We have to get out of here. I have to save Elijah. We don't have time for that. They're already on their way. We have a better chance to hold our ground. You know, you got a lot of phones these days. You can track them. Just in case someone tries to take it and steal your car. We don't have time for this. Don't you even think about it. Now, you and me are gonna take a little walk back to my car. I'm not going anywhere. You sure about that? Any second now, there's gonna be people coming up that hill ready to kill all of us. We're wasting time. I don't care. All I want is for you to get on a plane. Now move. And leave them here to die? 
Leave who to die. Son, you don't want to get yourself involved with this. You know what happens when you pull a gun on a federal agent? I do. Welcome to the shit show. What are we gonna do, kill them all? Yeah. Five in total. Six. Lady, I don't know how you and your son are involved with this man, but you should know he's bad for your health. He's one of the most ruthless criminals in the country. Ceiling on me. We on schedule. Yes, of course. And Catherine? We're going with plan B. Amelia, that complicates things. If you're gonna do this, you have to disappear. They will. Listen. No pain. Just dead. Por supuesto. Mom? I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry for all of this. Where are you going? I can't stop them from harming us. Fitzgerald knew my husband. They were friends. They're not gonna kill me. Should be me the one going out there. I'm the Fed. They'll listen to me. Shut up. I can't let you go out there. Come on. Come on. It must be us. You really need all these men here, Amelia? Just being thorough. Enough of this. I've been bullied and scared for too long. I'm not gonna hurt you or your son, preacher. But that man inside there has to die, and then it'll just be business as usual. This all can stop now. I've tried to live with what my husband has done for too long. I've tried to do right by my son. What are you trying to say? Help her. You have to do something. Do what you will, Emilia. But know that I won't be your prisoner any longer. I'll tell them what he did. The deal he made, what you did. And may the Lord have mercy on my soul. And yours. <laughs> Did you think I had a conscience? That I don't just sleep easily at night knowing what I did? Because I do. And trust me when I say, after I kill you and your son, I plan on going home tonight and laying my head on my pillow and sleeping peacefully. No. Tranquilos. That's more like it. 
preacher. If you go out there, they'll kill you. Trust me. Okay? Take this. Go in your room and hide. You okay? Go. I would have killed you sooner if it weren't for my pathetic father-in-law. If it were up to me, I would have murdered all of you. Just taken over your land. Did you think someone was going to come rescue you? Special Agent Lloyd Red. I'm in the break of past territory under heavy fire. Need backup now.
Sounds good. Let's have some fun. You'll be fine. Fuck off. 